Hello Xer Solutionist. Welcome back to my channel. Today video is all about how we populate the selected database row in combo box. This is the interface of the form it has labels, combo boxes, text boxes, and a button. This is our database. For adding this on the project, right click on your project and select new item then find data then select service based database. If you encounter an error on creating so install the SQL local DB 2017. If no then continue. After creating you will see your created local DB and server explorer tab and in your project. You can add table by add new table or new query. In this I have already created a table with rows. And I also already added a value of columns. Now let's go to our main form. Inside of the form we have used system.data and system.data.sql client. For us to use SQL classes and data, we have an namespace name of populate column cb. Then we have initialize private and public modifier for SQL connection as SQL connection, this code will connect us to database. SQL command is SQL command, this code used to communicate with database. SQL data adapter is SQL adapter, this code will create bridge between data set and data source for retrieving and saving data. SQL data reader is SQL reader, this code used to read a rows of the database which will execute by SQL command. Data table is data table. This code provides a collection of columns and rows to store data in a grid view. And binding source is binding source. We have initialized string data type as connection string with the value of connection string of the database. To find this right click on your database and click properties and then copy the connection string. After copying it then enter at symbol outside the double count and inside of it paste the connection string. This code is to connect our project to specific database. Then we have initialize SQL connect is equals to SQL connect with a value of connection string var name. After connecting to database we have created a form load event. We initialize SQL connect.open to open the connection. We initialize string data type view club members ID with the value of string query of selecting student ID row from student info table. Then we initialize SQL command as cmd is equals to new SQL command with a parameter value of view club members ID and SQL connect. We initialize SQL reader is equals to cmd.execute reader. This will read the cmd. Then we have create a while loop. While SQL reader dot read is true. Then cbstid item add SQL reader under zero to string. Then close the connection. Let's run it. So this is the flow of the data. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out.